Right, 40 day dry aged prime rib came from Costco. Here's what it looks like. It's been in the steak locker all this time. Um, it does smell a bit nutty. Here's what it looks like. You do need a very sharp knife to do this. Here's the bottom, this one is boneless. Um, last time I did bone in, I have to say, if you don't uh, debone <clears throat> the top side, it's a lot more difficult. So I do recommend boneless. Uh, bone in might add uh, a bit more flavor, but uh, it was much more difficult to deal with compared to this. So here's what it looks like. Looks really nice. So we want to make some steaks today. This piece I'm going to actually put back in. I'm, I'm going to keep aging. Uh, this we're going to eat today. Uh, I want to see if I can get to maybe 50, 60 days with this piece. Here are the three steaks that I got from the smaller cut. The meat is ready. Charcoal is ready. Let's go. Here is the setup. Let's take the steaks. I'm gonna go one right there. I wanna go for very slow. Let's check on them. They're at about 115 degrees, so we'll get them out soon. This is the setup. You can see the potatoes as well. After resting for 10 minutes, this is the result. Okay, so the 40 day uh, dry aged prime was really good. Um, it did have that uh, nutty taste that I was looking for, uh, where when I did the choice at uh, 35 days, it was very tender, but the taste wasn't there. Um, at this one, you could tell that at 40 days, the, the prime boneless ribeye did develop that nutty taste. So it was excellent. We had friends over, they tried it out, they liked it. Uh, it's, it's definitely different texture. Uh, the taste is there. I'm gonna keep it at least for another a couple of weeks to see if it's gonna develop even stronger taste. Uh, this wasn't overpowering, it was just slightly there. So I'm excited uh, to try it out uh, maybe more at uh, 55, 60 days and um, I'll let you know how it goes.